In this tutorial, we are going to cover how to get the library content onto your pedal. The first thing you need to know is that all library content, songs, drum sets, as well as anything else you'd want to put on your pedal, is done exclusively via the BeatBuddy Manager, not by transferring the files directly onto the SD card. What you see on the screen now is the BeatBuddy Manager. There is one more very important step to take to make sure that your BeatBuddy Manager is ready to accept the library content. And that is, you have to make sure that you have a project in it. The BeatBuddy Manager comes empty, so by default there is no project inside it. If you haven't created a project, or you are unsure whether or not you have created a project already, take a look at the side over here. Do you see this entire list of songs and folders? If you do not, then you probably do not have a project. And you should watch our Getting Started tutorial with the BeatBuddy Manager. It shows you how to create a project when you open up the BeatBuddy Manager for the first time. But since we have a project fully loaded and ready in the BeatBuddy Manager now, we do not need to watch that video. Now let's see how to get the purchases from the library into the BeatBuddy Manager. You can access them at any time by signing into the library and going to My Account over here on the top right of the screen and then clicking on Downloads. There are two types of purchases from the library. One type are song packages and the other type are drum sets. I will show you how to import both into the BeatBuddy Manager. I'm going to download one song package by clicking on it, and I'm going to download a drum set by clicking on it. Drum sets may take slightly longer to download because they are larger in size. Let's see first how to import the songs. Navigate to the downloaded folder, which will be a zipped file, and double click on it. You may need an unzipping utility such as 7-zip to open it. In the folder, you will see a file that ends in .pbf. Not the PDF one, it's the PBF, as in Paul Boy Frank. Take that file and place it in a location which you will remember. Keep in mind that certain song packages might have more than one PBF file. Now what we need to do is to import the PBF file. We go to the BeatBuddy Manager, we'll go to File, Import, and Folder. We'll navigate to where that file is. Here it is. And we'll click Open. And there it is, the entire song package imported into the BeatBuddy Manager. Now let's look at importing a drum set. We go through the same process by double clicking on the folder, taking the drum set and placing it in a location which we will remember. Then we go into the BeatBuddy Manager and we go to File, Import, Drum Set. We'll navigate to where that drum set is saved to. We'll select it and click open. Then we go to the drum sets tab over here and we need to tick the checkbox of the drum set in order to complete the import into the BeatBuddy Manager. Always remember that you must synchronize your project. You do that by going to File, Synchronize Project, and click Yes.